Hello and welcome to Inside Out Southwest. Stories and investigations from where you live. Tonight, inside the Southwest's controversial new free school, how the views of the man who inspired it have caused fierce debate. The government shouldn't waste state funds on, on schools that teach uh, nonsense. I mean, that is a waste of the public's money. Rudolf Steiner was not a racist, and these schools do not promote anything like that. First tonight, for years, private Steiner schools have been popular with parents prepared to pay the fees. But now, amid much debate, a state-funded Steiner school has opened in the southwest. It's the first time public money has been used to set one up, and that's angered some critics who say parents aren't being told enough about the controversial philosophy that underpins them. I've been investigating. Fire Rowan and his mum, Alice Irving, are giving thanks for an afternoon snack. Shine so Their song to the Fire Gnomes is based on the writings of Rudolf Steiner, a man who said natural forces like fire and wind were animated by spirits like Fire Gnomes, which can't be seen. Make a candle shine so bright. Steiner's spiritual insights have inspired some, but been ridiculed by others. For Alice, the fire gnomes are no more harmful than the tooth fairy. It's all about bringing a sense of wonder about things. So it's just a, it's a lovely little story. And we talk about the fire names when we go out and we have a fire outside. Um, and it just brings another level of magic to it, really. It's September, and Rowan's first day at school. He's one of 130 pupils at the brand-new, state-funded Steiner Academy in the Somerset town of Froome. We started becoming aware of Steiner as, as you do when, when you're sort of looking for alternatives, um, when he was quite small. Um, and I think that children need to learn how they fit into the world first, and that's the most important thing. Um, and learning, formal learning really follows on from that, I think. And, and I hope that Rowan can, can take that love of learning and take that out into the world. A passionate group of parents has managed to get the school to this point, despite vociferous objections. The head teacher, Trevor Meppham, has been in Steiner education all his working life. So, good morning, everybody. This is going to be very brief. Uh, there's a lot to do. But firstly, that's a special moment. That's the moment when we have opened and woken up a new school, our school here. It's the first time public money has been used to set up a Steiner school, and that's angered sceptics who are questioning the philosophy behind it. The government shouldn't waste state funds on, on schools that teach uh, nonsense. I mean, that is a waste of the public's money, of taxpayers' money. Um, and it, these schools are also legitimised by the fact that they're now gaining state funding. Not only should we study the cosmos and the stars, we should also look for the stars and the cosmos within us. Rudolf Steiner was an Austrian philosopher who died in 1925. He said he had a clairvoyant ability which gave him a direct insight into a spiritual world. And it's this spiritual science or anthroposophy which forms the basis of Steiner education. One, two. All the earth is sacred. Children aren't taught to write until they're seven. Research has suggested that a delayed start to reading does improve exam results. But Steiner was concerned that reading too early might damage a child's path towards reincarnation. Very good. Uh, he did have some ideas on reincarnation. Yes, I wouldn't say he believed in it, but he put those ideas out there as indications, as questions, and as areas of research 
for people to explore themselves. I mean, he's not the first person to have done this. Uh, he's not the only person to have done it. I think it's a fairly broadly held notion all over the world, actually, the, the concept of reincarnation. Do you believe in reincarnation? I am open to it as a possibility, yeah. One of the most controversial aspects of Steiner's philosophy is that he said reincarnation was related to race. He said skin color was an indication of a person's stage of spiritual development, with black, Schwarz people being the least developed and white, vice people the most. For some local people, a school inspired by the ideas of a man who held such views is unacceptable. Steiner basically believes that the highest level of human evolution is the white Aryan and in particular within that white Aryan group it's those of Nordic and German descent which is exactly the sort of idea that the Nazis were pushing in the 1930s and 40s. It's only a tiny part of Steiner's work but it is one which has concerned newly qualified Steiner teacher Daisy Powell. Steiner didn't actually write very much about race but there is a, a fraction of his work that um, could be construed as promoting the idea of a uh, kind of hierarchical evolution through the races um, which is obviously a, a very controversial and deplorable idea. I do acknowledge that some of the things that were said in the 1920s do not sound quite right today. In well, they the, might not have sounded the, right in, in the, the 1920s. 21st, in the 21st century. And what I'm saying is that fundamentally, um, Rudolf Steiner is not a racist, and these schools do not promote anything like that. But you accept are, that some of his views could be interpreted as racist? Um, I think I would accept that some of his views in today's climate, using today's language, could be viewed as that. Daisy Powell is positive about the benefits of Steiner education, but she's worried about the potential for anthroposophy to become a belief system. I think what can happen with Steiner practitioners is that they might put some of his ideas into practice, find that they work very well um, and prove to be true, and then you come to accept um, everything that Steiner says as, as being infallible, which is a dangerous way to approach things. Steiner schools insist they don't represent a particular philosophy. But critics aren't convinced. They say parents often don't realise that some teachers may believe wholeheartedly in Steiner's reincarnation theories. Uh, be sceptical of what they tell you because the, the Steiner groups are very good at um, saying uh, we don't teach anthroposophy, uh, but that is a complete misunderstanding of what the issues around anthroposophy are. The issue is that the teachers are, uh, are nurtured in these anthroposophical beliefs and things like karma and reincarnation. On its website, the Steiner Academy Froome says it will neither promote nor teach anthroposophy. And yet, as a member of the Steiner School's fellowship, it is required to have what's called an anthroposophical impulse at its heart. You're required, are you not, to have anthroposophy at the heart of everything you do? In the name of these schools, we uh, follow a certain approach, we follow certain ideas... An anthroposophical and we, approach. ...and we carry certain questions. Um, Founded in anthroposophy. Well, anthroposophy is, is a... a a generic term for Steiner's work, okay? It's, uh, but you are required to put it at the heart of what you do. Uh, we are required to teach education uh, that the government has funded us to teach, and that is Steiner education. The Free Schools policy has offered a lifeline to the Steiner movement, and a second Steiner Free School is due to open in Exeter next year. Rowan is settled in his new school, and his mum Alice remains optimistic about the Steiner approach. I don't know very much about the ins and outs of anthroposophy, so at this stage I can't say whether it would be a problem or not. I think that what I already see in Steiner education is a strong sort of spiritual background, um, a sort of connecting to something wider, a sense of you know connection with nature and, and there being, being something bigger than us. And, 
that's something, that's a paradigm that underlies um, a lot of different philosophies and, and different religions. And for me, I think that's quite a helpful way of approaching learning. It's quite a helpful way of approaching life. The school is already oversubscribed and has ambitions to become the largest Steiner in the country. To do that, it'll have to move to a bigger site, and its critics are already trying to block those plans. How will it all turn out? Well, only the clairvoyant could know that.